Hi there, Dan from onlinebasecourses.com. Hope you're doing well. Now, one of my subscribers, Kevin, had a question for me and he says, how can I get more of that for the best I can explain burp tone? Now, I think I know what he means because I've heard that being referenced that way before in like magazines and things like that. And I've certainly heard Jacko having been described with that sort of tone. And I think, I think what he means is the sort of back pick up close to the bridge kind of tone you get. So I'm going to show you how to do that today and keep my fingers crossed that that's what Kevin wanted. So this is a 1975 Fender Jazz and you don't need a, a vintage Fender or even a Fender to do this but the reason I'm using this one is because it's got two pickups. I'll show you a way to get that tone if you don't have two pickups. There's basically two ways of doing it. If you do have a two pickup bass, solo this bridge pickup. And the second way to do it is to alter your hand placement. And if you can do both things, you'll really get that tone. So just very quickly, um, this is the tone of the bass when I've got both pickups fully, fully open. This knob here is the tone. I've just got that fully up as well. So. Kind of how that bass sounds. If I actually, you're seeing I was just playing here, sort of quite close to the, to the end of the fretboard. But if I just move my fingers back to this sort of back pickup area. Start to get more of that kind of tone. So now let's, um, I'll quickly play that again and then, and then I'll knock out the front pickup, solo the back one. So get rid of that front pickup. I think that's the burp tone that he was alluding to. Now, if you've got a, a P bass or a Music Man or something like that, then you can you can get closer to that tone by by moving your fingers back. But if that's the sort of tone you're after, then really you want you want anything that it doesn't have to be a Fender, but you want anything that's got two pickups and you want to solo that back pickup and that's how you get that burp tone. So get in contact if you want any more sort of tone advice or questions I'll answer them I'll do a quick video on it and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video I'm going to do weekly videos on groove fretboard knowledge how to play bass well gear all that stuff so I'll see you on the next video.